Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1. This is Episode 34, and I've got the Imperator Pat visiting with me. Hey there. Alright, we had some problems with this door. And some of you might have actually, you know, uh, said something about this, but I'm just going to let you know that when you have a door opening from both sides, it has to the door has to be an even number of spots wide. And, and everything that in, in my being that lets me build in games like this and Minecraft and Seven Days to Die is odd numbers are king. Um, you know, doorways are usually one, one space. Uh, Three-lane hallways are the best. Uh, and this is the one that bit me in the butt. Uh, it's an odd number, and I can't make doors coming in from the sides in odd numbers. I can't make the doors even numbers because I, I built this whole thing around the fact that there's odd numbers. The the runway is is three... Uh, it's, it's, the landing pads are odd, everything's odd, and this door needs to be even. So, what we've decided is we're going to have the doors closing from the top and the bottom. It's the best I can do. I think it'll be pretty cool, but, uh, you know, live and learn, guys. If you can do blast doors coming from two separate sides, you got to make the door even number, and you have to remember that when you build. You know, honestly, having a landing pad of four blocks wide, even if I did do this the right way, that would look kind of weird to me. I don't... I don't like the even numbers, but it would look a bit thick. Yeah. So what I did is I built some uh, some housings for the pistons. I did build a piston on the top and on the bottom. I didn't build them, build them, but um, I'm laying things down right now. And normally what I would do is, and again I learned this from Pat, is I would normally uh, I would normally p place everything down and then build them either off camera or in, in a time loop or a time lapse. But uh, that's not going to work this time because i got to build this step by step to make sure I'm doing it right. So, let's get building. Computer, motor, large, and construction. Computer, motor, large, construction. And I think Pat's over there grinding that ship down. Actually, I think I have everything we need to finish this. So, if you oh, want nice. to just draw, uh, drive in the welder ship, you might be able to just go to town on it. Alright, sweet. You want to have at it? Um, yeah, let me get this thing set up. I'll let you go, or are you going to be building? We'll both be building, yeah. Okay. Uh, this whole video is going to be about getting this door done. I really want to get it done. It's, right then. You know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I feel bad, you know, monopolizing all past time. He's got his own videos to do, and his, his subs are going to kill me if they find out he's here <laughs> helping me instead of building his own stuff. But uh, I promise this will be the last time I keep him on here, and I've offered to help him on his world. Whether it's on camera, off camera, whatever he needs from me. So you just let me know when. And yeah, I'll be I might more... take you up on that offer. Yeah, one you, of these days. You know, the, you you do do stuff off camera, right? Yeah, sometimes. All right. All right. So you know, if you get to that point, you see me around, or if you know you have plans, just let me know and I'll be here because I, you know, I like to Alrighty help then. out people and they help me out. <laughs> okay, so that's that piston, and let's make this blast door. Oh, a lot of steel plates for the blast doors. Yeah, I got plenty of steel plates in here, though, so we should be good. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to set this off and see if it's working. Now, that blast door should just go right up. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, basically, all you got to do is hit reverse, and there it goes. We'll speed it up a little bit. I'm not going to speed it up too much because, because uh, you know, I'm afraid that, you know, if you could do things too fast, they will break things. Yeah, hey, that looks nice. Okay, all right, so it's working. All right, so basically what you got to do now is you have to put down the blast door. Um, it's got to be connected to the other blast door. This is something I learned. When you put down your first blast door, you have to connect it to the piston. That's it. Then this is now the thing you want to connect everything to. So you put down your next blast door, you put it onto that blast door, and that blast door, and that's three. Now the fourth is going to be the like closing section or whatever. And uh, that just goes like this. And make sure you're... Again, you could put this... Actually, you can't put it on the wall, but you, you might be able to it sometimes. you got to make sure you put it in the right spot. There goes Pat. Going to work. Love it. And now let's test this bad boy out. All right. By the way, uh, the, the vertical part of this door is even. I actually had to go out of my way to make it even, but that was a piece of cake compared to what I would have had to do to the hanger. You know what? That's going to look pretty cool up and down, I think. 
and stop. Beautiful. Is that? Yeah, that looks. Yeah, that's half. You might have to take into consideration the. I think is there an offset for the piston of like twenty centimeters or something? Uh, offset how? I know that rotors have an offset. I don't know if the pistons have an offset too. Uh, an offset for like what does it do? I'm not quite sure like, what that does. It adds an ad additional twenty centimeters to the uh, height of the no, piston. No, 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 because I made these doors before and. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, unless, I don't know. We'll deal with that if it happens. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> it sounds like it'll be a problem if it does, but uh, you know, we'll see. I don't think. So. I think we'll be okay. It'd make the video interesting. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't no, need interesting no, we don't. videos. We need easy videos to make awesome things and stuff. I hear ya. Okay. Actually, I take that back. I was just talking about it. That's what you're... Okay, you were referencing something. Good point. Good callback. I love it. Uh, okay, so that's going to be... So this part right here is going to be actually built. This is going to be... And we can't put stuff there. Okay, now that's going to be a problem. Why can't I put stuff there? It's got to have to be last door. Okay, alright, fair enough. More blast door. See, I can't put um, a light armor block right here. No, you can't. What you can do, though, is you can put a beveled um, armor. Let me let me show you, actually. Well, I could put more blast door there. I mean, yeah, you could put blast yeah. door there. What was, what was the other thing I could put there? I was going to say you could put a blast door like... Like that. Uh -oh. Might actually look somewhat decent, too. Well, the problem is, the problem is I'm going to also have... See, this is going to come out like this. See what I'm doing there? It's going to... It's going to go all the way around. So the stuff on the side needs to be hidden as, as well as, as... As easy as it can. Okay. So the blast door thing will definitely work, but not this kind. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do one of the regular ones. Should all work. Right. Let's see. Only one way to tell. Uh, no, it's not because of these things. Yeah, they're kind of in the mm. way. How did I do this then? On my other world. All right, well, let's take this stuff down first. All right, guys, uh, I do want to finish this door on this video, so I'm going to actually pause this until I have an answer. You don't want to see me sitting around thinking. So uh, give me a couple minutes. We'll come up with a solution and be right back. Yeah, that's exactly the way it should be. Perfect. Okay, guys, we're back, and we figured it out. Um, you, you did. When he was saying beveled edge, and I was like, oh, yeah, that, that's what we need, and I didn't have any clue what he was talking about, um, the beveled edge is the, uh, the like the little slope corner thingies. Um, so that's going to be our word of the day. Oh, I'm full. You want to grab this plate? Huh? Where? Hmm? You want to grab that oh. plate right there? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Joink. All right, yeah, cool. Okay, so we're going to do a corner block here, so... These are a little... Oh, I was going to say they're a little tricky, but no, they're not tricky at all. Um, now, the one on the bottom does not have to be a corner block, because that's not going to be shown. Uh, actually, well, whatever. We can always change it out later if we need to. So there we go. So let's do the other side, and then we'll we'll go ahead and run this and make sure it's going to be okay. Uh, it seems like it's going to be okay, though. Yeah, it looks like it will be. Eight. So, uh, how long until there's going to be a hangar on the uh, Imperator Pats world, man? Looking forward to it. Um, I think the first hangar that I'm going to be building is going to be on my capital ship. And, uh, oh, okay. That ship might hangar, be nice. coming pretty soon, because I know a lot of people are requesting it. So, probably coming sooner rather than later. It's going to be nice. I can actually watch your videos again. I, um, I watched Pat's videos a lot when I first started playing, and then I ended up stealing all his ideas. Because, you know, not even meaning to. It's like, you know, like sometimes when you get an idea in your head and you just can't get it out and you have trouble coming up with your own ideas because the ideas you saw are so great. Um, that's kind of what my problem was. And uh, now that I actually built a hangar, when he does build a hangar, I could watch and not have to worry about, you know, stealing his ideas. Um, I don't mean to, but it's just, you know, like I remember when you made your cargo ship. That was like, I was like, I want to make a cargo ship. And I was trying to figure out ways to make one different. <laughs> But good, and I couldn't think of it. I was like, "That's that's the best way to make cargo ship," and he did it, <laughs> and I'm screwed. <laughs> Actually, it's not the best way. I'm just I don't have a good imagination, and uh, these games I'm not that good at because I don't have a good imagination. But that's why I like to play them because it helps. You know, it helps me work on my imagination. 
no. But I find Space Engineers to be harder than any other game. Harder than Seven Days to Die and harder than Minecraft. And by quite a bit. This game is way harder, in my opinion. It's fairly intensive about it. Nice. There you go. That that looks pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then four. Covered up with light armor slope then. Yep. And then I can continue with the hangar because I'm gonna have like a takeoff pad like over here, just like a big long pad that really doesn't need to be there, but I'm gonna do it just because it's gonna be cool. All right, I'm gonna raise this. Are you out of the way? Mm, yep. Okay. You're clear. Actually, you know what? I take it back. That's almost as good as going from side to side. When I found out I had to make it go up and down, I was kind of a little annoyed. But uh, no, that's that's pretty sweet. It's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. All right. So again, when you put down these blocks, these first blast doors, make sure you are targeting the piston. Or it's not gonna work. Learn from my mistakes because this took it didn't take me that long, but you know, it's not intuitive and and there's a lot of good people doing a lot of good space engineers videos. I personally love um well I love the Space Engineers YouTube channel themselves. And I also love Last Stand Gamers. But um and maybe they do teach you these things and I just didn't see the right video, but their update videos, they didn't teach you this kind of stuff. Like make sure this is connected to this. You have to connect this to the piston. Then you have to make sure all the other blast doors are connected to all the other blast doors. Like nobody told me that. And if I didn't up well, maybe if I didn't do an update video, I mean it was pretty new. Maybe they didn't. No, they knew because they built a working door. That's how I figured it out. I figured it out. I kind of just figured out how they did their door and I I figured it out eventually. But I wish they'd like let you know that cuz it's kind of that's important. It's really important. Maybe they expect you to be smarter than I am. Well, Cage, you're you dumbass. You should figure it out. And I eventually did, so no big deal. Some people ask me on one of my videos if I love Last End Gamers. I was like, yes. Last End Gamers are awesome. Yeah, it's, good content. It's nice to see talented people with good content make it big on YouTube. That always makes me happy. What I hate it is when, like, you know, I see someone who's really popular and and I go on there and I'm like, ugh, this stuff's not that good. And, and uh, part, of it, part of it's jealousy, I'm not going to lie. But part of it's just like, I want people to make good content to be successful. Because that's the way life should be. <laughs> don't, you th don't you think? I agree with you there. Alright. Man, this is awesome. Coming along really nicely. Yeah. Are you going to put a wall on the top of this? Hanger? You know, I really haven't thought it that far, but yeah, I mean, these blast doors will be covered, so yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. That's I haven't, kind of... yeah, I haven't really thought about that. Um, but yeah, actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I screwed okay. up. Oh yeah, need a little edge on the side. No, you can use your fancy words. That's good. I want to, I want to remember what that's. Did you I look that know, up or did you? They called? Oh, I thought you had a word for them. The one with the slope Well, yeah, they're edges. beveled, but beveled. Um, I want to know what the actual name for them is, what the game calls Well, where them. did you get beveled from? That's what it is. <laughs> like, where, like, how do you know that? Do you, like, make, like, you're yeah, just it's... super smart? Can you grab that? Huh? Because, oh, my stuff's full. There's a floating thing right here. Probably right next to me, I can't. No, no, you see where I am? Yes. Ah, yes, I see it. It's floating off. Uh, Normally I wouldn't chase down this kind of stuff, but <laughs> we're, you know, <laughs> we're using a lot of it. <laughs> oh, suit energy's low. You mind if I get in there for a sec? Yeah, sure. Finish this. Ah, there we go. Sorry. Oh, oh, man. Beveled. So where'd you learn that? School? Like, that's, I never no, would have known I, that. I think it was when I was, um... I was making some molding for our house, and I needed oh, are to know you, are you like a to... Oh, are you like a carpenter type? No, I'm not. I just, you know... You just do home repairs and stuff? When you, when you fix stuff. things, you know, you gotta okay. learn different okay. terms for different things, and... The molding on our house was beveled, because you used a little... Like a router to bevel the edge. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was a fairly common term. Um, I actually learned a lot about toilets. Because I had, like, somewhat recently, my toilet, the, the little flapper thing and I actually learned the name of it but I forgot it already um you know the little flapper thing in the toilet uh like broke and I had to go oh. you know learn about that and replace it and stuff and 
Hmm. I'm not. I'm not like a like a home builder repair guy. Eh, I wouldn't say I am either. I do like my uh, tools, though. I quite often you'll find me working on my car outside if I'm not making videos on YouTube. You're you're a car guy. Yeah. Wow, I never would have thought of it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've never seen many gamers that actually are car guys that yeah. actually like working on cars. Yeah, they don't cars, like. But. It doesn't fit together. Like that's that's interesting. Yeah, I think it's fun. That's Good. just me. Good. No, man, that's awesome. Yeah, car guy. My brother uh, in Florida uh, is a mechanic, and he he uh, does race cars and stuff. Holy crap, that'd be awesome. That would be fun to do. Yep, I got pictures of me when I. If you ever get a chance, uh, check out my channel. I have a go search on my channel and uh, something about Florida. Cage goes to Florida or something. Oh, okay. And uh, it was it was like a couple of years ago, and I actually met my dad for the first time since I was ten. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, we kind of and I'm 37 now. Kind of lost contact, and uh, my brother. My half brother called me up and was like, "Hey, you know, this is your brother." I'm like, "I don't have a brother." I'm like, "Yeah, you know, your brother Chucky." And I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> you know. And then uh, I was like, "Yeah," and like I was like, and I went down to see my dad. He was like 80, and he just passed away, like a year ago. So it was nice he got to see me, and I got mm -hmm. to see him. It's cool. Yeah, that is nice. Okay. Speaking of nice, like a glove. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna work. That my friend is gonna work. Let's build the size now. Got oh, some I time. think I was running into you. You are? Yeah, I, I was running into you. On accident. Oh, I wasn't moving. That's weird. <laughs> oh no. Well, yeah. I did that, or I was running into that ship back there. I don't think I dented anything. Oh yeah, something's dented up there. Uh oh. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Hey, if Pat's okay. not running into anything, he's not playing Space Engineers. Yeah, I know. I gotta derp <laughs> up somehow. <laughs> when we were doing this the other day, uh, we like we spent an hour and a half on here. We were just on Teamspeak talking, and uh, like that's the best when you're like on Teamspeak talking, and then you've done all this work and you didn't even realize it. That's pretty cool. But um, you know, we were just we were just hanging out. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. We gotta do that for your world though. I feel bad. I wanna get I wanna get some work done in your world for you. Ah, we'll we'll get some work done on my big capital ship one of these days. <laughs> how much right. stuff we have left we have plenty plenty of stuff yeah that that ship's gonna like get it <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of material for a long time after grinding that ship away. okay so all right so we can't do the top so we are gonna have to build this down how are we gonna hide the top ooh that's gonna be interesting we gotta figure out how to hide the top I know how we're gonna hide the top I already figured it out I think. Okay. That should work like I just did it. Maybe. Let's try. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so the top goes up more than the bottom I think oh hmm it feels off somehow I don't know the top what? feels off let's see let's see what we got here actually seems pretty I don't know I think it seems off because um the top block is the tops kind of, come up in a different way yeah, it's kind of covered up differently because there's the corner slopes and the yeah that kind of make it look smaller okay Okay. I think it is actually Yeah, even. there's there's no way to do it completely even. Cuz if you look down here, the bottom is actually flush with the floor. The top is not going to be flush with the top. It can't be because of the way that the the door is, which is fine. That's not a big deal. Eh. I don't know. It looks awesome. The bottom looks awesome. Yeah, it though. it does look cool. I like it. I like it. I'm just, you know, <laughs> you know me. Yeah, you're nitpicking. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine though. All right. So that goes there. Let me check my timer, because... 
I'm always like hesitant on when I want to take a screenshot and name the video after the item I'm building because I haven't painted it yet. We're going to be taking this screenshot before I paint it though because I want to take time with painting it. I want to make sure I get it the right color and everything's, you know. Yeah, I'll definitely do the paint job later. That is going to be awesome when it's finished. Just, you know, stepping back for a little bit. It looks fantastic. I'm actually quite happy with the up and down thing. I didn't. I don't think we lost anything, to be honest. Now, one thing that I would like to see in this game is remote controls for stuff like this. How you deal with something like that? I don't know, but if they can figure out antennas, they should be able to figure out remote controls. Like, so I could open the door remotely. Oh, I got you. So you can. Oh, I just thought of another cool thing. Oh, I just thought of something else cool. Oh, you're going to love this. All right, let's see this. You're going to love this. So, we're going to have a separate thing here for a door. Because every garage oh. does not only have a place for the car, it has a door. Very nice, yeah. And not only that, but this is going to help me open the door without having to like put something stupid here that I wouldn't make as much sense. Oh, I ran out of steel. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need you to hit that door for me. So I'll give you the steel you need. Okay. I gave you some steel, actually. You're almost out of room. Let me put it on the other side. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, the door, then. I'm gonna have to Done. move the gravity generator, too, because it's not coming over here far enough. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up those two, uh, those two, uh, I don't know, I keep wanting to call them thrusters, pistons. Pistons, oh, I keep wanting to call them thrusters. But I'm going to link those two bad boys up, so what you do is you come over here to the door, and actually, at some point, I'll just make another thing here to stand on. But, uh, you come over here to the door, we go to the pistons, group them up, call them... Uh, hanger door, hanger door, and then I'll just put at the end P for pistons, just so I can know. All right, hanger door pistons. All right, here we go. Uh, actually, they're not the same. Oh yeah, they are. They're both on one millisecond. All right, good. Here we go. Oh yes. <laughs> It doesn't, nice. it doesn't look even, though. It, it's not. There's four on the bottom and three on the top. Yeah, you can always fix that later. It won't be as big of an issue. Oh, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This is, it's there. I'm oh, going I to, know why. Yeah, I know. Um, I see why, too. I, I made this okay. too low on the top. I see I, I see I can fix it, though. I, it won't be a problem. It's got to be fixed, though. Because that's going to drive me crazy. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're going to call this one here. I've taken enough of Pat's time. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for episode 34, and let me get to do some rendering. Pat, thank you very much for helping me. You look funny there without your jetpack on. <laughs> oh, hey, do me a favor. Come on over here hmm? and just stand in front of the door with your jetpack off. <laughs> sure thing. All right, it's let me end this one, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to be taking the screenshot. So let me uh, end this one, and then we're going to take a screen. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I gotta stop looking at you. Um, all right, guys, it's gonna be it for episode 34. We'll see you next time for episode 35. Till then, take it easy. See you guys next time.